Hello, Algebra 1. We're going to do a quick check on your homework that you did on the 7.4 Guess and Check written practice. We're not going to check every single one of them. We're just going to spot check a few of the problems. The front was all about reviewing multiplication by using the distributive property. So just as a reminder here, first we distribute the 3x and then we distribute the 1. And basically, this is how you check all of your guess and check problems. So 3x times 5x is 15x squared. 3x times negative 2 is negative 6x. 1 times 5x is plus 5x. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Combine those like terms in the middle and we get 15x squared minus x minus 2. Just a quick reminder here that when we're doing these problems, what we see here is that the first number is a product of the first terms. And the last number is a product of the last terms. So when we're guessing and checking, we're going to use the first and the last terms in order to make our guess. So let's spot check a few more. So here's number four. Number four is special if you think back to what we learned in the previous chapter. These two binomial expressions are called conjugates. And conjugates, when we multiply them together, something special happens. First, we're going to distribute the 7x through. When we do that, 7x times 7x is 49x squared. 7x times a positive 2 is plus 14x. Next, we're going to take the negative 2 through, and that gives us negative 14x minus 4. And remember, when we have conjugates, the middle terms cancel, and we're left with 49x squared minus 4 which we are going to call the D-O-T-S, the difference of two perfect squares. So this is our product. Number five, let's check number five. Number five, not conjugates, but we have a binomial being squared. So remember, 8x plus 3 quantity squared means 8x plus 3 times 8x plus 3. So when we use the distributive property, First, take the 8x through. That's going to give us 64x squared plus 24x. Next, we take the 3 through, and we have another 24x, and then 3 times 3 is 9. So these are the same binomials being multiplied to each other. This time, the middle terms do not cancel. They double, and we get... 64x squared plus 48x plus 9. So that's a quick check on the front of this page. When we turn it over on the back, we have factoring by guessing and checking. So when we guess and check, remember we guess intelligently and then we always follow our guess with a check. So I'm going to be making a guess here based on the fact that we have a plus then a minus and we know that when that minus sign is last the signs have to alternate. And I said alternate and then wrote a plus. Let's use the magic tape on it. There we go. Our signs have to alternate. So we want to get a negative 3 here. The only way to get a negative 3 is a 1 and a 3. That's it. Up front, remember we're only going to focus on the first term and the last term. Up front, we need to get 10a squared. So a way to get 10a squared would be 2a and 5a. So this is my guess. My guess is going to be followed by the check. Remember to do the check, we're first going to distribute the 2. So 2a times 5a is 10a squared. 2a times negative 3 is negative 6a. Then we're going to distribute the 1, which will give us positive 5a and a negative 3. Now, when I add the like terms here, I'm so close, I end up with 10a squared 
minus a minus 3. So the only thing that is not right is the minus sign. So the best way to deal with that is to realize that all I have to do are switch those signs. So my correct answer is going to be 2a minus 1 times 5a plus 3. I'll give that a quick check. 2a times 5a is 10a squared. 2a times 3 plus 6a. Negative 1 times 5a. Negative 5a. Negative 1 times 3. Negative 3. This time I do get the correct answer when I add. I get the positive a in the middle. And this is the answer. All right. Let's go down to the 13 underneath. We're going to do the same thing. First thing I see right away is that I have plus plus. We love plus plus because that means there's going to be plus plus in the factors. That is a given. Now up front we have 49 and there's really only two ways to get 49. There's 7 and 7 and 49 and 1. It's a hardly ever 49 and 1. So we're going to go 7a and 7a. Then on the end is a 4, which is also a perfect square. So let's try 2 and 2. This is my guess. My guess is followed by the check. 7a times 7a is 49a squared. 7a times 2 is plus 14a. 2 times 7a is another 14a. And 2 times 2 is 4. My middle term is doubling. And it's given us the 28 that we want, so we have our answer. So there's our answer. Let's move on to number 15. Number 15 is 18s squared plus 3s minus 10. Once again, we've got a minus right there. And anytime that last sign is a minus, the signs are going to alternate. But this time, we won't put in the signs first. Let's talk about the numbers first. So to get a 10, it's probably going to be 5 times 2. And to get an 18, it's probably going to be a 3 and a 6 or a 2 and a 9. Let's try a 3 and a 6. So 6s, 3s, that's where our 18 is coming from. 5 times 2 is 10. This is my guess. Let's see what happens. So if we want a plus 3 in the middle, we need to make our plus be here and our minus be here. This is my guess because this is going to give me a negative 12 on the outside and a positive 15 on the inside. And a negative 12 and a positive 15 is where the 3 is going to come from. Let's do a full check by using the distributive property. 6s times 3s is 18s squared. 6s times negative 2 is negative 12s. Next, we're going to take the 5 through. 5 times 3s is plus 15s. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. And when we add our like terms, we do indeed get the positive 3s that we were looking for. Therefore, this is our answer. One last one. Number 17. Number 17 we got minus minus, but that minus means the signs are going to alternate. Let's give it a guess here. 27 will say 9x and 3x. And for 20, let's go with, let's put a 5 here and a 4 here. This is going to be 36. This is going to be 15. And 36 minus 15 is where we're going to get that negative 21 from. So we need our 36 to be negative, our 15 to be positive. Let's give it a quick check. 9 times 3 is 27x squared. 9x times negative 4 is negative 36x. Take the 5 through. 5 times 3x plus 
15x, 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. Add them up. This is giving us a negative 21x in the middle, which is what we want. And we have our answer.